guys and girls it is pressing it today welcome to another video uh, kind of a weird angle here I've got like this lamp turned on its side I've got this white wall with a nice picture but I'm not trying to be fancy I'm just trying to talk to the camera say what's going on for it's been forever so the video that you just saw before this one or like the clips that you saw was basically me in, in the gym uh, killing it just having a great workout and that was a few days ago, about actually like a week ago more actually. It was more of a week ago that I did that. I just kind of wanted to have some training footage for you guys for, I haven't touched my camera in over like a month and that's my next thing that I want to talk about. So before I get into that, I just wanted to say that is decently recent footage, um, but I'm planning on doing more down the road. So where have I been? Why have I been uploading? The reason why I haven't posted in a while is because I recently got a brand new job. Uh, you guys probably know that my job closed. If you guys have been on my social media at all, you guys saw that I'm now a personal trainer and I am training out of Crunch Fitness here in Portland, Oregon in Aloha. So yeah, I'm now officially a trainer, uh, at least like, well officially, I've been personal training for three years on the side with my mother, with her business, and also online coaching. But this is like my first time ever being a real, like official trainer. So yeah, it feels really great. Uh, it's nice. It's a nice fre breath of fresh air for, if you guys don't know, before this job, I actually worked at a grocery store as a checker, bagger. I did everything basically. Um, just, you know, stocking shelves, like throwing freight, all that stuff. So I did a lot of that job and I worked there for five years, uh, from 14 to 19 years old. It was a great job. I, I worked there uh, from freshman year to about my sophomore year in college because it was just a great way for me to have a job that paid decent and that was very flexible. My manager always gave me time off. I was only denied once in my whole five years of working there and it was because somebody was out sick and he's like, hey, you're all I got. And I was like, no, no worries, man. So um, it was great. It was an awesome job, but they closed down due to the owners just being fed up and tired of the grocery industry. So that is why now I'm working at Crunch Fitness. Crunch has been great, but I dove in, man. I dove in head first and I went beast mode. And I actually set the new record for the most sales done in the first month at this location. I set the record. I beat my manager's score by about a hundred bucks, which is pretty cool. So, um, and this, you know, and this isn't me being like, oh, in, in your face, me and her talked about it. She wanted me to beat the record. And now I am the current record holder until somebody else comes and beats it, which, you know, I hope that somebody can because that's how we get better, right? But obviously I want to hold the record for as long as possible. That is why I was gone for so long. Uh, I just dove in for a month. I went beast mode and I rarely post on social media. Like I, I did my best. I didn't, you know, reply to DMs really. I just went absolutely hard on the paint, guys, and that's what you got to do when you start a new career or when you do anything that's new. 
you gotta give it your all, and then you can level out, especially when you're trying to break a record. So uh, the record's been broke, my first month is officially done, it's December 1st right now, so I'm in month two, and now it's a fresh start. I've made a good amount of sales the first month, so now I'm gonna be starting at a higher amount of money than I did. I'm not gonna be starting at zero, I'm gonna be starting at a couple hundred, even close to a few, a few uh, thousand, because of how much I sold the first month. So basically I'm gonna be sitting pretty good the second month and it's not gonna be as much of a grinder. So I'm gonna have more time to do YouTube and obviously I'm not trying to break a record so I'm also gonna have more time to record, to record videos. Kind of uh, what's been going on in regards to like where I've been, why I haven't posted. Now let's kind of go over what's happened since I've been gone because a lot's gone on in regards to my physique, in regards to my lifts. There's some stuff that we gotta go over. Last time you guys saw me was, God, it was the physique update and I was repping 315 for like two or three reps uh, on the squat and then before that it was like trying to hit 265 on the bench press. What's going on, where am I at, where are my lifts, where am I sitting at weight wise, how lean am I, stuff like that. In regards to where I'm at weight wise, I am sitting around 206. I'm fluctuating a little bit below and a little bit over, but right now I'm about 206 in the morning. I'm leaner than I was at 199. So I'm 206, but I'm leaner than six months ago when I was at 199. So that's pretty nuts. The fact that I'm leaner than I was and I'm six pounds heavier, you know, I'm not gonna come out here and say, yo, I just gained six pounds of muscle. But I will say one thing is that I'm eating a lot more food and I'm weighing in at that much. That's pretty awesome. I did put on a couple pounds of muscle. So um, that's pretty exciting. Uh, it's nice to be officially over 205 and lean because last year I was 217 and I was just really, really thick. I was getting, getting too thick for sure. So feels good to be at a nice body comp at a heavy weight. Now in regards to my lifts, so we've had some big PRs. Uh, last time you guys saw my deadlift with that was at I think like 365 or 375, something like that. And then my squat was at 335, and then my bench was at 245. So on squat, we increased the weight. I went over and I easily killed zero, a zero grinder. It was, there was no grind at all, zero grinder, 355 pounds, which is a 20 pound increase. So I'm thinking that if I wanted to push it, had, had I gone you know heavier that day, it probably would have been a 365 pound, or 365 squat which is what I, I failed a few months ago. So uh, we basically are at a nice heavy squat now. It feels good to be very close to 405. And then deadlift, I now pulled 405 on deadlift like it was, it was, it was easy. So we went from 365 or 375. I didn't do the math right when I had the plates on there, so I don't really know like which one it was. Either way, we're at 405 now. So uh, big jumps for the squat and deadlift. But bench, man, it's not moving. I'm still trying to hit 265 on, on the incline. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. I did a four by 10, like two sets of nine reps, two sets of 10 reps with 190 on the incline. So technically I should be able to do like 205, 210 for like eight and then go up to 225 for like six or four. So we'll see what's going on there. Um, it's just flat bench has been, or incline has just been really off for me lately. It's just felt really heavy, I'm really weak. And I think it's because I'm going so hard right now on my deadlift and squat days. So I'm gonna try and reposition my training, try and you know re re uh, recomp my bench, and then see what I can do before I really want to hit that 265 flat, or sorry, 265 incline because that means that my flat is pretty close to 315. So yeah, things are feeling great. Uh, those, those are my numbers, that's how much I'm weighing, that's where I'm at. And uh, yeah, it feels awesome. I'm really excited. So now going into what's gonna happen going forward. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting more. Obviously now that my first month is done at Crunch, I'm officially like settled in and feeling good. I don't have to break any records. I don't have to, you know, stay up super late. I mean guys, I was getting in, in the gym some days at 5 a.m. and staying as late as 9 p.m. guys. So. You know, I'm getting paid for all of it and it's great. I'm making lots of money, but that is a long ass day on top of training for two hours and then still trying to sleep at least seven hours a night. That, that's a lot to ask. So um, it was a lot, but now that I'm more settled in, I can record and actually have mental space and have my focus on other things, not just my job, which you know, when you love your job, I'm not saying I'm gonna like lose my lose my drive, but I can definitely um, allow a little bit more time for other things now that I'm not trying to break a record and trying to, you know, um, get myself set up for the next few months. I, I put in the work, 
I'm gonna put in more work, but I definitely don't have to be so focused to where I'm skipping out on family functions or events with the girlfriend, you know? I can actually plan more time off. Going forward, that means, yes, more, more YouTube from me. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I'm turning 20 years old next week. So, not this week, because it's December 1st, Sunday, but next week on Wednesday, I will be turning 20 years old and I will no longer be a teenager. Now, like 15, 14 year old me that, you know, uh, left my high school and was trying to figure out where I'm going in life, wanted to just be a personal trainer, wanted to just be 21, like, He's like, let's go. Like, he is so happy that I'm finally out of my 20s, and he is so proud that now I'm a personal trainer. Because I'm, I'm, I remember before I, I went to college at 15, uh, I remember I was just like, what, where am I going? What am I doing, right? And then I went to college, and it was good to go. But I remember I wish I could have just jumped right into personal training when I was 14, 15, before I decided to make the leap from high school to college in that interim when I was out of school trying to decide, like, do I do a GED, do I homeschool? And then lo and behold, I found out that I had the brains and the drive to go to college. So that was awesome. It felt good to be uh, 15 years old sitting in a class with adults, able to keep up and at that intellectual level. So that felt real good. But he's like, yo, we're finally 20. Or like, we're all, you know, like when I hit 20, he'll be like, we're finally 20. Fuck yeah, like we're all done. And then like, no more being a kid. I got one more year and then I'm officially a full on legal adult because when you're 21 in the US, you're, you're able to drink. So then there's no more limitations, right? I'm like one year closer to basically being a full fledged adult legally. I know people say you're a kid until you're like 30, but whatever, dude, like fuck it. You know, so like, I'm like, let's go. And so, I'm excited about that, but then the YouTuber in me, the entrepreneur that knows that like, hey, like, people like young people that are strong, people like young people that are shredded, like being young is a selling point. It's a big marketing tool being young and strong, and I'm not saying I'm not strong or I'm young, I'm just saying that like, I'm not 18 anymore, I'm not 17 anymore, like I can't put those really, really big like, like big click names, big click titles in my thing, you know, saying, now like, I can't say teen bodybuilder anymore after next Wednesday, right? I only have this week and then half of next week and then no more will it be teen, teen bodybuilder. It's gonna be bodybuilder. I can like, so what, 20 year old bodybuilder? Like I can still say 20 year old bodybuilder but I'm not a teenager anymore, you know? And so uh, that sucks, you know, like, like, like the part of me that enjoyed getting more views because I was so young, quotes, you know, like 19 was still, I just put teenager instead of 18 or 17. Um, that sucks, you know? With all that said, expect a full on posing physique update video from me. Um, probably the day before I turn 20 will be when I do it. Expect a you know, full on routine, I'm gonna have music, it's gonna be awesome. And it's basically going to show what I have been able to create at the age of 19. Like before I become a 20 year old and I'm no longer a teen, it'll be my final physique update, what I was able to create in, in my teen years. So that's gonna be an awesome video. I'm really excited for you all to watch it. It's gonna be great and expect that sometime after December 11th. So December 20th, um, you know, probably before Christmas, expect that video and that's gonna be a dope video. That is basically where I've been, what I've been doing, and where I'm going. That's the whole gist. I wanted to just kinda of touch base with you guys and just say, hey, I'm alive. You know, I'm sorry for taking so long, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You know, YouTube's great, but it's not paying the bills. So, that is where I've been, that's what's going on, that's what I plan to do, and that's where I wanna go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, be sure to smack the like button, comment down below, say, hey, I'm glad you're back, or hey, get the fuck out of here, whatever works. <laughs> and uh, I just appreciate all of you guys rocking with me throughout the years, and uh, get ready, guys, because we're getting pretty strong. Our lifts are shooting up, and I can tell you what, 405 deadlift was easy, so we're looking at 435 next time, and this is conventional. Uh, we're looking at a you know 405 squat coming up real soon, and we're looking at a 315 bench press real soon also. My lifts have been shooting up, and every time I run my four by 10, five by eight, six by four, seven by three, like it's super freaking easy, guys. Like the weight is extremely easy. So I'm peaking my CNS and my sodium, my caffeine intake, like everything's peaking perfectly. So we're gonna be up there with the big boys pretty soon uh, when it comes to heavy weight. So I'm excited. Look forward to you guys, because I am. And yeah, once again, thank you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.